Let's take a look at our next big Excel VBA concept. I want to discuss using variables. You might recall, I mentioned it just briefly earlier, a variable is a location within our code or within the memory where we can store content. I receive some input from a user. I want to store that off in my code so that I can later use it in some way. Give you another example here. Let's say I've got my procedure. We just got done creating that. Currently it says active cell, take the active cell dot value, take its value and make it equal to Excel VBA. Now let's say this value right here, Excel VBA, I got it from a user or I pulled it from a cell someplace or whatever. I got it from some other location. Well, I want some place where I can store that so that later on I can use it. So we're going to take a look at creating a variable and then using that within our procedure, storing a value and pulling it back out. Well, I'm going to create a little bit of space here. I'm just hitting my enter key just to create some space. I'm going to tab over. Now, the first step before I start putting information that I'm going to gather from some other spot, before I start storing it, I need to create the variable. We call this declaring the variable. Essentially, we're going to declare to Excel that we are creating a variable and we're going to tell what type of variable it is or what type of data you can put inside of it and then we're going to use it. But we first need to inform Excel that this variable, this storage area, exists. So the way that we do that inside of VBA is we start, typically, we start with the keyword of dim. Now dim, there's a whole big backstory to this keyword, but it's short for dimension. You're creating a storage location. You're essentially plotting out some space. You're dimensioning some space that you can put something inside of. So I'm going to say dim. I'm going to call this user input. No spaces in your variable names. So this right here, this is my variable name. I just made that up, called it user input. Now I'm going to say user input as string. Now there's three little things that are going on here. And remember, this is the way that we declare a variable. First, I'm using the dem keyword. This is a brand new variable, okay? a standard variable. Then I give it a name. In this case, user input is what I'm calling it, no spaces. The next part consists of these two keywords. This is the type. What type of data can I store inside that variable? In this case, I'm going to store a string or a text value as string. There's lots of different types. Strings, integers, booleans. I'd say those are the top three most commonly used types for variables. But there's loads of them. Okay? If, I, if I go back in here for just a quick sec, I say as, hit my space bar, it's going to give me a list of all these different types. Again, I'm using string. I'll just type in string there. There's my variable. So I've declared a variable, user input. So I've just informed Excel, or more specifically my procedure, that there's this variable called user input. Just be aware of it, because I'm going to use it, and I'm going to start putting something inside of it. So now, let's drop down a line, and I'm going to say user input. That's the name of our variable. I'm going to make it equal to Excel VBA. All right. So I've got my variable. I told Excel, be aware of this. I'm now telling it user input and what it's equal to. Now I want to use it. I'm going to tell it active cell.value is going to be equal to user input. Got my variable. I assigned it a value, and now I'm going to use it inside of my code. Now let's try this out. Let's, I'm going to put my windows side by side each other again. There we go. Let's go to another cell. And I'm going to come over here. Earlier we saw I went up to my view menu, I went to macros, view macros, and I ran the macro from there. Well, in your VBA window, if you click into the procedure, up above, you've got a play button. 
I can just hit play and it will run whatever procedure my mouse is currently inside of. So I'm just going to hit the play button and there it is, Excel VBA. Well, what if I come over here and I change it? I say, hello world. And I go run my procedure again. I'm still on the active cell of C9. I hit play. And I've now changed the value. I'm storing that in there and then I'm using it. This is huge. Much bigger than, than the little bit of an example that we have here. But I created a variable, put something in it, and then I can use it. And where the beauty and really the power of variables comes into play is when you use that, that, that value multiple times. Because now I change it in one spot right here. And now when I run my code, it would update everywhere it's being used. So I gave you an example earlier. You get input from a user. You ask them for some numeric value, like 5%. You drop that into the variable within your code. You run calculations on it. You change values inside of your worksheet based on that 5% input that's being stored inside the variable. This is this huge concept, one that we're going to keep nailing on as we get into the various projects as a part of this course. But all a variable is storage. Put something in there so that later you can retrieve it. You got to declare it. Tell it. Tell Excel. Oh, hey, I'm creating a variable dim, the name of the variable, and the type or the type of data you're going to put in there. Give the variable a value and then use it within your code. So try this out. Elaborate some more on that procedure, fun with procedures. Create your variable, give it a value, and try putting it into the active cell.